Hey learner, this is Nilesh Porate. Now it's time to go to develop our the CMS application. So first we will learn about introduction about the CMS means that what is the CMS. So see here, CMS means the content management system. Usually a CMS is developed to facilitate the owner of the site with the ability to make small changes in the site. The changes can be text, image or adding a new page. For example, you have a simple website which consists data of your company and it is built by a developer and you are no developer. Okay, then there are two scenarios. First one is that if the site is not built as CMS but built in core PHP then Suppose you want to change a small text then you have to contact the developer. But if you want to change the image again, contact the developer and any damn small thing you want to contact the developer. So this actually is a waste of time and the money for the owner. Means if you want to any small changes in your application, then every time you contact your developer and told him please make these changes okay and for every time that changes developer mark the charges of that changes so that's why this is your the waste of time and the money so for that reason this CMA system is very helpful and the second scenario is that if the site is built as a CMS in core PHP, then you will be having an admin panel where in you can change the text, add edit images, add edit pages, etc. And you don't have to contact the developer. So this is the main benefit, the main purpose of this CMS application. Okay. Next we see that what are the more advantages of CMS. So see the another example. So example of CMS application is a web application that provide the following administrations, control panel or the website management facilities. So you can create, edit or publish your archive web pages or archive articles, archive blogs or the event calendars or the inventory, description, product specification, prices, photos, etc. or the view order, packing slips and invoices. Okay, all these changes are the customized. You can easily add the new things, edit, remove or publish your the post or the articles. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to see how to develop your blogs. Okay, so we develop the CMS applications which are related to these blogs. We create a one blog and create a one admin panel and the user panel. So user can easily edit, publish the blogs and the user can maintain all these things. Okay, so I have some screenshot about that CMS applications. So see the one by one. So see, like this way we develop our the application. So this is not a web page. So this is only a screenshot. Okay, so this is a customer home screen. So see, this is the home screen. This is the PHP model for CMS system, WordPress application, web development, admin, registration. Okay. So these are the some post, okay, post by here some author name. So this is the posted date time. This is your image. This is the content of that post like this way. In this sidebar, they have the search box. They have some categories and recent post list. And there is a one login panel. By using this login, you can comment this post. Okay, so this is a user panel home screen then see here this is an admin panel home page okay we design this home page like this graphical manner okay so see there are total 16 posts one comments 
six new users, five categories like this way. And there are many options on this left panel, dashboard, post, categories, comments, users and the profile. So I have one more screenshot here, see here next. Okay, so this is the post dashboard. Okay, you can easily search your the post. Okay, then select your the post, then here, see here in table section, you can edit, delete or view your post easily. So like this way, admin have the full authority to customize this application. There is no need to contact every time the developer. Okay, like this way we develop our the CMS application dynamically. So basically first we use the one CMS template and convert this template into PHP dynamically. Here we use the core PHP, not a built-in any library. Okay. So in this video, we cover the first startup section. So here we go into desktop. So let's see here, this is my desktop. So see here, this is one CMS template zip file. Okay. So I am going to mention this file link in my description. So check description in this video and you can download this zip file. Okay, extract it and follow the next process. So see here, I can extract this zip file. So extract here. After extracting, so they create one folder. So I can move this folder in my jam directory. So here I can use the control X for the cut going to my, my computer. Okay. So this is your the C drive Then see here, this is your the jam folder. Then HT docs and here we shift this folder control V. Now I can rename this folder. So my folder name is that the CMS. Okay. Now. See here in this folder. So again, there is a one more folder. So no need this. So here we shift all these files in this previous folder here and remove all these files here. This one and this one. Okay. Okay. So check here. Your folder is like this way. Here we create the CMS folder and from start to previous video, all these programs are saved in this demo folder. Okay, so this is your the previous demo folder and we use the MySQL DB folder and store all this create, delete, read, update files here. Okay, so here this is my CMS project and here this is my the static template. Now we go into this bracket editor. Okay, here we change the project location. So go into this file and change here the folder so click here the open folder now going to this std docs and the cms folder okay and select folder okay see here on this left panel my total directory structure has been changed so this is your the project structure okay now here we double click this index.html file so see here after double clicking here we open this file in my Google Chrome. Okay. So see, this is your the default project template. So this is your the blocks, this is your the menus, this is your the post. Okay, this is your the image. Then close this window. Again, this is the one post file. So double click. So see, these are the post. Okay. Then Going to this admin folder, again see this is again the index.html file. Okay, so this is your the dashboard. Okay, so not working all these links, but we create the, all the links here dynamically. So this is the default template we used. Now here we are going to create the one more folder. So my folder name is that the images. Okay all the images which are related to these blocks are stored in this folder okay and there is one more folder in this admin fold section so these images are related to only admin panels so here again images okay so next 
work is that again go into this bracket editor okay so here we refresh the tree so here images folder are added to this left panel now we rename this index.html to index.php then post.html rename to post.php again going to this admin panel this index.html rename to this index.php okay now this is the index.php file i double click this file and click here the run button okay now here we change this project setting so see here http colon slash slash localhost so my port number is that 8090 then you the cms then oblique okay done so see here my application is run in this browser okay this is your the index.php file sorry my port number is that the 8088 so okay going to this project setting my port 0 is that the 8088 okay done then again run okay so see here this is my application so see here in url cms index.php so if you don't know one thing is that if i can run this application directly by using this cms oblique and i can press here the enter then by default index.html or index.php program is run so if you don't know about this then this is a very important thing in every web application or the website index.html or the index.php is run by default okay so see here this is my website nilesh technology dot in and see here my home page is that so this is my home page okay here we cannot use the index.html or the php extension but see here when i can use here the index.html and press here the enter button and see here again same home page is run here so whenever your application is ready and whatever you are the front page or the main page you want to run for your the application then rename this page as the index.html or the index.php see here again nilesh technology dot in here we run this index.html page okay so this is just a static website so the here there is no need to use index.php file okay so remember this thing that so here every time your by default page is that the index.php now here we finish all these basic things here now we are ready to do the cms application work so from next video we will start our the cms application so first we create one database make a database connection and the first task is we will get to handle that is the category section in user panel okay so till if you have the any queries then comment on our query in comment box like and subscribe the channel see you on next video thank you